Hi, I'm Brian Mark Taylor. Uh, we're at a beautiful location here, and what I want to do is show you how to set up the Strata easel when you find a great place to paint. You want to get it set up really quickly, so I'm just going to go through uh, the process. Uh, what I like is a nice sturdy tripod that has uh, four uh, sections. Uh, it makes it nice and compact. I like these twist locks because you have this ability to um, open them all up at the same time and then another quarter turn and you've locked everything. Okay, so what we do now is widen the legs out and then we can set it down. Fortunately, we, here we have a uh, level surface so all the legs can be at the same length. Then what we do is we pull out the Strata easel and what we have here on the bottom is a quick plate. This quick plate goes with the Manfrotto ball head here and uh, each uh, ball head a manufacturer has a different shaped quick plate so this one comes with uh, this particular ball head and what we do is we just screw it right into the box see there's the screw hole there here's uh, the thread here on the quick plate we insert that into the hole there we turn it a bit then I want to orient it so it's kind of level with the back edge there and then we can um, go ahead and tighten that so once we tighten it then we flatten that little ring right there and then what, what we do here I just want to show you how to um, open up this uh, part here what you do is you there's a safety latch that little safety latch you engage that first and then you pull the main latch here and this little piece will pop up and hold this in place. So this foot piece will go into the shoe section right here, so this kind of hole right there. What we do is we look closely down into the slot there, and when we put that in there, we engage it. And we uh, clamp it shut with our finger. So now we have a nice tight uh, hold uh, connecting the tripod to the box, okay? And that uh, makes it so there's no uh, or very little wiggle when you have uh, the box attached to the tripod. Now we take our index finger and we pull out the uh, top canvas holder, which is here. And this is the bottom canvas holder. And we can, depending on the size we're going to paint, if we're going to paint something small, we might put it up here. If something we want to do 16 inches tall, we can put it down here at the bottom. And then this can go up and paint 16 inches tall by unlimited width. So once we've got that kind of set up, we've got two nesting side trays. And we've uh, I like to put, load my paint on one of the side trays so we have expandable palettes to do that. And then we put the other side tray on this side. And I tend to put things like brushes, paint, or my cell phone here. Now, one thing that we... I have here with the uh, Strata easel is uh, a really nice plexi palette and this it's uh, it's actually a high density polyethylene plastic uh, much more dense and smooth than plexi so it can clean just as well as glass and uh, I put it here and here as well okay so now once we have this set up we can take our uh, panel out and the Strata is designed for uh, use of using plain air panels. There's lots of different kinds out there. But if you want to use stretch canvas, we have adapters for that. You can see how it just slides right into place. And there we have our panel secured. The other thing that we like to uh, use is a uh, turpentine container. Or, you know, we use Gamsol most of the time, which is an, a safer product than regular turpentine. And this hermetically seals, and we just have a hook here to put it on the lip of the easel so we can dip into it. It's nice and easy to reach. So now we have the easel set up and, and ready to paint. Okay, once we've finished the painting, we can easily just lift this off, put the panel in a wet panel carrier, and then we take the, the turpentine off and throw it in the bag. Next thing we do is we take the two side trays and we nest them inside each other and then we can nest it uh, inside the box. Uh, what I like to do is I like to lift this up just a little bit so it clears where I put the paint 
and then you can see it closes nice and clean and it keeps the, the paint contained and locked. Okay, so those are kind of the basics of setting up the Strata easel. If you have any questions, you can go to our website, stradaeasel.com.